Okay, next one we call it Arctic Hysteria. This is common in young females who are from the group of people living in Arctic. They are called Eskimos. And the real term is called Piblic, pip, uh, Piblocto. This is like, you know, they make a sound which is similar to a bird. That's why they call it Piblocto. This is not English. But it is also called as Arctic Hysteria. I told you the term hysteria has been already discontinued, but still you can come across. What happened? This female will be screaming, she will be tearing her clothes off, and she will be running into the ice, and she will be burying her body into the ice actually. And she makes sound which is similar to a bird, that's why they kept such a term. But this is really hysteria, running in group of people, you can see. This is a real photo. She removed her clothes and she is lying in the ice actually. And it happens in group. And they are thinking the mechanism and the machinery behind this because they are isolated. You know that they are living in North Pole which means that there is no enough light. I already explained to you, if you don't have light, you can get depression. This is called what? Seasonal, seasonal melancholy. Previously it was called seasonal melancholy, but in DSM-5 we remove such a category, but it is put under depressive disorder. Technically this is an aggravator, which means when you don't have enough life, you can get depressed. This is an extreme form of seasonal melancholy. They have too much of stress, they cannot withstand the stress, so they are just, you know, this is the way how they can uh, cope up with the stress. So this is called arctic hysteria.